Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video here to review um, how we use the tangent ratio. So remember that any time you've got a right angle triangle and you take pairs of sides, the ratio of the lengths of those sides is going to be uniquely related to the angles in the triangle. And so if you take an angle, identify the length of the opposite side and length of the adjacent side, if you find the ratio between those two, that is what we call the tangent ratio for that angle. Okay, and that will be unique to every angle there. Now let's take a quick look here. In our triangle here, if I look at angle A, that uniquely defines this is my opposite side and this is my adjacent side here. So my ratio here would be the length of A divided by B. But if I choose angle B, that tells me that the opposite side here is little b and the adjacent side here is going to be A. And those are those ratios for those angles. So now let's go through and just use this and take a look at basically the three different types of questions you could get asked here. So here's my triangle. My 81 degrees right there tells me that the X is the opposite side. So the thing that I'm looking for is the opposite side and I'm given the adjacent as 13. So when I've got those two here, I can write that the tangent of 81 degrees is gonna be X over 13. So now I go to my calculator because it knows what that ratio should be and I get 6.3138. Now that decimal runs a whole lot longer than that. But I'm just going to write that out to four decimal places here. I'm going to write this over 1 so that my cross multiplication step here makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it's going to be 1 times x is x. And then I'm just going to multiply those two together. And now I'm going to write approximately equal to, and I'm going to round my answer. And so the length of my opposite side there is 82.1, whatever my units are. Another type of question is going to look like this. Again, here's my angle. And it defines the 7 here, or tells me the 7 is the opposite side. And this time it's the adjacent side that I don't know. But I know that together that's going to indicate the tangent ratio. So it's the tangent of 40 degrees is going to equal 7 over x. Uh, in this case here, I go to my calculator. The tangent of 40 degrees is going to be 0.8391 will equal 7 over x. And again, I'm going to write that over 1. And I'll do my cross multiplication here. It's going to equal 7 times 1, which is just 7. And then I'm going to divide. And so this is what makes this, this question just a little bit different than the previous one that we did. And when I do that, I will round my answer and I will get approximately 8.3 units. The last type of question that I can get related to tangent here will be a question that looks like this, where I've got this angle right here, but I don't know what it is. But once I've, I've got my attention on that angle, that tells me that the 31 is the opposite side and the 56 is my adjacent side. So I'm looking for that angle. I don't know what that angle is, but I know that its tangent is going to be 31 over 56. I can't just use the basic tangent ratio here because I know what the, the ratio is. The tangent function on the calculator gives me what that ratio is supposed to be. But in this case, I already know what that is. What I don't know is the angle. So on my calculator, I'm going to use the second tangent, okay, or the inverse tangent feature, uh, and I'll enter in 31 over 56 is the ratio, and the calculator will now tell me what that angle is, and it turns out the angle is approximately 29 degrees. Okay, so those are the, the three types of questions you're going to get asked. You're either going to be asked for the, the numerator of that ratio, the denominator of that ratio, or the angle itself. So I hope that helps... Uh, at least remind you of, of the material that we've gone over in class.